and welcome to Ugo Market Update for the 19th of April. We hope you had a great Easter weekend and let's have a look at what's come across the news today. US markets were open last night and they closed near neutral after a choppy session as investors processed a few things including earnings reports which are actually coming in pretty well so far as around about 77% beating expectations as though forward projections are under scrutiny. The IMF dropped its global growth forecast on the back of the Ukraine conflict and of course there's continued inflation concerns going on as well. We're seeing earnings season really ramp up this week with HAL, Hasbro and Netflix as well as Johnson Johnson amongst the highlights today. US futures are up in Asia although they are off the highs of the session. Asian markets are all trading to the upside, the ASX is around about 0.7% to the upside as we record this. The US dollar index traded higher again yesterday on the back of bond yields and gold also had a brief foray near that 2000 level which is a critical psychological level for the market but dropped towards the back end of overnight trading to settle around about 1980. Brent oil is also playing with short term resistance just trading under $115 on the CFD contract. The VIX is pretty neutral as it has been for the last few days and still under that key 25 level. Little evidence of buying pressure in cryptos. Bitcoin, at best, can be described as holding short-term support. And as well as the US earnings in focus, pretty quiet on the data front today. We've got the RBA minutes out, which will be interesting in terms of their interest rate policy over the next few months, potentially. And we have US housing data out also. A couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, first of all, on the ASX, Whitehaven Co., you'll see there we've now confirmed that clear break of resistance at 450 and trading at around about 468. Not a lot of evidence of massive momentum this morning, but nevertheless a good move and supports this possibly up to around about $5. In the, in the FX world, we're still keeping an eye on the Aussie yen, which is looking more and more like an ascending triangle type of pattern with around about 93.80 as a resistance to the upside. If we look at a short term chart, uh, you can see we've still got a little bit of work to do to break through this level. But nevertheless, this appears to be some momentum in Asia if we look at what's happened this morning. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.